What is going on, people? Welcome back to another Ogaro Talk se segment. And also, welcome to the family as well. I haven't done one of these in a while. So, today I want to be talking about the quote of no pain, no gain. Now, I want to say that you can experience the gain without the pain. Now, what, when I see the no pain, no gain quote, it tells me that well, what, what it says is that challenges need to be looked at from a painful mindset. And I don't necessarily think so. And so I think the no pain, no, no gain quote only limits the possibilities of what you can see in challenges. So I, I think that challenges can also be uh, exciting, fun, playful, but it should be more so in like a relaxed mindset instead of a stressful and painful mindset. And, but of course, there are still going to be challenges, but, you know, there's a difference between looking at a challenge from a painful mindset and looking at a challenge at much more of a playful and much more relaxed mindset, you know? So I think the no pain, no gain quote should be rewritten as no challenges, no gain. Now that makes a lot more sense. And so, st studies will show that a much more relaxed mindset would increase the, uh, would improve the uh, production of what you're doing. So, if that's something that's art related or something, you know, music related or anything creativity, you want to have a much more relaxed mindset as opposed to something that that is more stressful. And, you know, there, there has been some, you know, there have been some... There are also some like practices on how to get relaxed, such as meditation, which has been proven to increase the coronal thickness of the hippocampus, and it decreases depression, and it improves learning and memory. I have personally experienced this at the you know beginning of my you know college years when I started meditation, and so. But I don't want to let this be all about meditation, though. So let, let's get back to the, the no pain, no gain thing. Um, I think in, in some cases, the no pain, no gain thing would apply. Like, for example, you know, af athletes. I think that's where the, that quote derived from, athletes. And uh, also the no pain, no gain. Of course, let, let's take, for example, you know, characters in, in, within a story, you know. They're going to, in order for them to, you know, get to the uh, next level or so, they're going to ha need these, uh, you know, antagonists to test them. And these antagonists help the uh, character grow into an even stronger person. So, you know, you should think that antagonist. But anyway, I guess that's when the no pain, no gain thing would apply in that sense oh or, or whatever life experiences that you you know went through you know let's just say that someone um someone was like you know physically abused and so and then he managed to you know get past that trauma of being physically abused and now he's helping people you know now the person who went underwent that trauma is now helping people you know, get past that physical, that physical abuse experiences. And he has a much more better understanding of it because, you know, he went through it. So I guess the no pain, no gain thing would apply there. But there are also some other cases in which the no pain, no gain thing wouldn't apply. And I'm going to use my own personal experience. And so, about my past experiences, for example, I'd have trouble communicating and connecting with other people, and that'd be due to some some people. I'd ask for advice. They'd be like, "Oh, you're just trying too hard," and in fact, I was trying too hard. I was overcomplicating it, and and so forth. So the so the no pain no gain thing 
would yeah no pain no gain thing wouldn't apply in that situation because I, I was definitely feeling that pain but I was not getting any gains whatsoever so I needed to know how to relax more you know get with that flow a bit you know relax get into that flow you know that that's what well, that's what some people said you know get into that flow you know just just talk relax you know but it but the mindset of uh, ancient yeah an ancient person would be you know just trying way too hard you know now there are like two different types of people the type of person that tries too hard and the type of person that you know doesn't try whatsoever you know so the type of person that you know doesn't try whatsoever would need that push you know to you know do something that push of you know hard, harder and the person the type of person that you know does that excessive over hard over hardness needs to you know dim down and relax you know so depending on what type of person you are you know one advice may work for you one one however another may not you know but in my personal case of uh you know the socializing thing with other people uh i was i was trying way too hard and i needed to you know relax and get into that flow and ever since i i learned that everything else started to become a lot more easier for me and not not only in terms of you know communication and whatnot but in terms of you know art learning etc the the list goes on you know and so i always say that there's a uh, there's a uh, spectrum to everything like serious in play like i said in my previous video of the value of going with the flow you know and there's and now there is a spectrum to you know not trying at all and you know trying you know you need that balance you know and people try too hard is what I'm saying and now of course challenges will arise and if challenges didn't arise you wouldn't evolve in, in, in your craft or, or whatnot you know rather it's art storytelling or music you need challenges you know but your mindset when you see those challenges don't have to be something that's from suffering or painful it can be something that's fun and relaxing you know and so depending on what type of person you are you'll know what works best for you and again from personal experience for example if I if I, I'm working on a page or so I'd try there are times when I'd tr um, be stressing out over a page and all I need to solve the problem is just you know to just relax chillax you know stop trying too hard you know that's what I keep reminding myself and to have fun with the process and you know in the in the art community a whole load of artists get depression and that, that's really popular among artists and so for me I feel you know take it taking it easy relaxing when you see a challenge just you know you don't have to look at it from a suffering or painful mindset when you see a challenge just see it as fun for you to evolve and you know just chillax relax have fun with the challenge you know make the challenge your best friend just like the mistakes that you make I, I have a video on that as well so yeah no challenges no gain so yeah just you know relax you know so yeah I think that that's about that. That'll be it for now. Uh, I'm gonna have a tutorial on backgrounds. I'm trying to find some ways to make it make backgrounds as simple as possible for people to understand. So yeah, I'll have I'll have that. I'll have the background stuff coming up very soon on the, on the channel. And if you haven't already, subscribe. Leave a comment if this helped you. I'm sure this advice is gonna help someone. You know. So, yeah, later, guys. Peace out. Have a good one, too.